am I gonna miss this sound? That is loud. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. And today, we've got the ZL1 here and I wanted to basically talk to you guys about the future of the ZL1 and also fix something that we installed a little while ago and had some issues with but thankfully the company that we were working with is awesome and they were able to send us out a replacement part so we're gonna get that replaced and show you guys the kind of the quality issue that we saw and talk about the grid service that they had. So stick around and enjoy the video. Before we jump right into it guys, I do wanna give a huge shout out to each and every one of you guys that are part of the Speed Squadron. You guys are amazing. If you wanna be part of the Speed Squadron, super simple. You just have to enjoy these videos and hit that thumbs up button. Consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date with all of our videos that we post in the future because we've got a bunch of stuff coming along. Now, the Z01, sounding and looking beautiful we installed this anvil notched carbon fiber rear spoiler about a couple months ago and it looks awesome i love it and that carbon fiber is just insane but unfortunately not sure if the camera will pick it up right around this area we started seeing some staining on the clear and you can kind of see where it's bubbling up and yeah so that obviously doesn't look good so i reached out to anvil and showed them pictures showed them you know obviously the purchase date this this and that and they were really awesome and basically got me a replacement in the mail so we're gonna go ahead and swap that out we'll show you guys a replacement but here you have it it is glossy 3k twill carbon check it out check this out guys looking beautiful awesome awesome now this one is clean no defects in the clear so now the only thing we have to pretty much install on this one are the little end rubber caps guys and those are included here so we're gonna go ahead and put that on and then just do a direct swap i've already done a video on how to do this so basically we'll just swap this out and show you guys what the end product looks like and afterwards let's talk about what's going to happen with the zl1 because i received some important news earlier this week and the future of the zl1 might be changing here very quickly and it is installed and looking so much better guys no more stain right here in the very center it was a, such a big eyesore let's talk about the future of the zl1 guys last week i got my first email officially starting my z06 process and yes that is right the z06 is coming guys and potentially much sooner than i expected now gm is doing the process much much different now allocations are so much different and i still might not get the car as soon as i think it depends on how many allocations whitmoyer chevrolet ends up getting per month of z06s now i love the z01 but you just can't compare guys a z06 c8 or z01 two different cars is going to be completely different uh content from what we currently have but i'm still going to be doing a lot of stuff with the z06 similar to z01 like going to drag and all that so don't worry about that guys but the z01 is going to be going now this car has been amazing it only has an intake some 85 and headers and a mid pipe and this thing's able to run 10 flats at 135 with just a drag pack installed guys amazing love the car and it only has about 8100 miles the car has never seen rain it's been garage kept since i've owned it and overall has been kept in amazing shape guys it is ceramic coated i do have the nt555 r2s in the rear 
the car has gone through a lot of cool stuff and performs just as amazing so with the z06 being very very close to coming this thing is gonna have to be gone so i am gonna be posting it up for sale here at the end of march and based on current pricing guys i'll post up some of the auto trader screenshots of what i've seen with cars of this year it is a 2019 these things just keep going up and up in value the longer i wait the more it actually goes up in value and now they're finally hitting that 66 to 70 thousand mark for a bone stock one uh with this kinds of miles i remember back in january i mentioned that i was gonna sell this thing if somebody wanted it right then and there in january seventy thousand was the number and at the time they were going for about 63 to 68 so 70 was a little high i didn't want to sell it obviously in january but as things get more serious with the z06 guys i am gonna have to start moving pieces around to make that work and so at the end of march i am going to be po posting this up for sale and basically going to be looking at the current market to see what to post this at i will probably stick to selling it around the slightly higher end of what the stock zl1s of this similar mileage go for and i will be selling it with the intake and the headers everything pretty much that the car has except no drag pack and depending on the price i might throw in this wing or i can put back the stock one and basically sell as is it does have a lot of little carbon bits that i've added along the way around the door handle mirror and the interior which do add some value those, those things aren't cheap but overall looks great done a little bit of cosmetics nothing too crazy so if you're interested and really are considering getting this zl1 for me guys dm me on instagram uh and if you're very serious you know go ahead talk with your bank i can provide you the vin number so that you can try to get pre-approved but let's talk about the z06 ordering stuff now gm again like i mentioned earlier has been doing things a little bit differently and they are yeah so gm is doing things a little bit differently guys before it was all based on last year's historical sales is what you would get for the allocations of the next year for dealerships this year gm is doing uh, month to month allocations and looking at basically how long a corvette is sitting at your lot and also if you're doing things like selling over msrp to decide the allocations so yeah if your dealership is selling over msrp you might not get as many allocations as you initially thought when you were selling a ton of these things. So Whitmoyer up in Pennsylvania where Street Speed 717 gets his Corvettes from, they are selling cars at MSRP. And I've got the email that if you have seen my Instagram or you follow me on Instagram, you've seen where they are sticking to their word with the C8Z06 and selling at MSRP guys. Now I am number 11 at the dealership. Yes, number 11. And the way that they plan on doing most of their stuff is at the end of March, on the 24th, they'll be able to put in their first orders for their Corvettes. And they are gonna be submitting and wanting to maintain about 10 orders, uh, 10 Z06 orders at any given time. And as allocations come up, those orders become VIN numbers slash allocations, and they're gonna shift the rest of the orders up one up a few spots however many spots and then the next people online will place in their order which means being number 11 i am probably going to be getting a call to submit my order my spec for my c8 either in april or early may so once that happens hopefully depending on how many they get a month they could get one z06 a month they could get two three four five i don't know but if they were to get let's say two to three z06s per month i would be in about month four which is right around july august time frame when that c8 z06 will come now don't worry if the car sells soon then it's not like we're going to stop making content guys i will still be trying to go out there and get some content for you guys from the track and of course from hopefully car shows as the summer comes and we start to kind of ease and relax on these restrictions with the current pandemic and hopefully go out to some shows so 
anyways for now guys yes this thing is going to be going and i am super excited to <laughs> talk about like the z06 and uh, what the plans are how the timeline is looking at because as much as this thing is amazing the z06 is going to be even better but anyways guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll catch you guys in the next one